Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. If it resonates, that's great. Then it is your message. Or parts of it may be your message. If not, then this simply is not your message. So just please use your own discernment. I'm currently shuffling uh, quite poorly <laughs> with the uh, Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck today. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards a few times and then we'll get straight into the reading, okay? And then we can see what's going on for you guys. We'll cut the deck now, okay? Angels of Love and Light, can you give us clear, concise messages for this general reading? See what's going on with the collective, please. That looked like it wanted to come out, but it didn't, so if it comes out... Oh, okay. Right. The world. Wow, this is a beautiful start. Just seen um, 111 on the clock, so you could be seeing those numbers. Um, very significant here in consideration to the world. Uh, we have the Two of Swords here in reverse. Okay, bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Cups. This is absolutely astonishing. There's going to be a brand new cycle, a brand new successful cycle coming in for you after a significant period of time of confusion. You're learning to see the truth or you've had to try to figure out what the right choice is in relation to your life, potentially blocked intuition or having difficulty with feeling, you know, what is the right path for me? That is all going to come to an end very beautifully here with the world energy and then it's going to be successful yeah because you'll have the inner strength you know the resolve to be able to go after your dreams yeah there may have been a bit of difficulty in the past potentially feeling you know fighting you like fighting for Like fighting for what is the right thing to do and then not feeling kind of getting that able to to move yourself forward like there's like power struggles not necessarily with yourself but with other people potentially or other things and it was um kind of controlling you or getting you to the point where you just felt like you were stuck like rigid, not able to move forward, but you'll eventually get out of that. It could have been to do with a long-term investment where you've had to be very patient with yourself. But let's just carry on and see um, what the spread is going to bring about here and then we'll move, like, go into the reading properly. What other messages can you get for us, please? Oh, there's too many, but look at that. Yeah, so... Obviously, just is trying to... Conf uh, like an extra confirmation that your dreams will come through come through for you you know when you have the resolve but you may be in an incomplete cycle or you feel like you're having to cling on to things which are out of your control um because you've been fearful of change i'm getting could be to do with a traditional um either a relationship or certain set beliefs that you may have had it's just curious yeah this is this could be dealing um this could be pertaining to you or someone that you're dealing with Let's uh, see what other messages. Oh gosh, that literally wanted to fly out of my hand. The devil, you will be breaking free. You will get the freedom that it is that you, you're wanting, the independence to leave on something, releasing something, because you don't want any more drama in your life anymore. So I'm getting this kind of major anxiety and stress and feeling really hot, kind of not able to move forward. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords energy. Maybe you've had to try and see things from another perspective. I feel like I'm shaking. This is really weird. You've had to really stand your ground on something. You know, even if your voice shakes, it's like you've had to try and speak your truth about something that's been incredibly important um, to you. Yeah, because you've been stuck in another cycle, maybe felt like you were stuck in a rut or trying to close out a particular cycle to get the closure that you need to manifest into a... Uh, a new life potentially and able to um, create inspired action for yourself moving forward be focused again what else can we get goodness ok 
So yeah, because you want to move forward in your truth and you're kind of getting that that sense of I've, I've just now I know what everything is going on for me. I need to move forward and I need to do it now and I need to do it now after potentially this period of time of confusion. Yeah, because you've been heartbroken or somebody that you're dealing with has um, kind of betrayed you in some particular way and you're getting to that truth, um, that acknowledgement of knowing that, yeah, I need to get out of a particular situation and then with this tower reversed, it's like, you know, um, potentially resisting a particular change because you've been stuck in some sort of heartbreak or someone that you're dealing with. I'm also getting the sense that... Um, yeah, things have made, may have, maybe you have moved very slowly for you, um, you know, to, to get to where you want to be. But the slow movement has been absolutely necessary so that you could kind of feel like you're more in control and get a grip of things. And by this kind of slower movement happening, eventually, you've potentially avoided um, a disaster of some sorts in a situation, but you have felt quite unhappy um, in this either the situation or potentially this slow movement has built quite a lot of frustration within you, because I'm feeling a lot of, lot of frustration, that, you know, having to wait around for things to change around for you, and it's like, okay, when is everything going to happen? When can I move forward? Because this is now how you want to move forward when you know this, this truth. But it's like, you know, your mind seems to be going like a million miles per hour now that you've gained some sort of clarity in the midst of some sort of difficulty. And it's like, now, okay, right, now I've gained the clarity. I need to be fair with myself and I need to figure out how to move on forward. And you will do eventually with this world energy. You know, okay, what else can we get? <clears throat> okay, yeah, we've got the Empress in reverse. So either you or someone that you're dealing with, you know, could be feeling quite, um, quite insecure about certain things. Or potentially this is even to do with a karmic partner or a karmic situation. I'm really getting maybe you got um, stuck in a confusing difficult situation somebody wanted to keep you in that energy where you've had to be um, stuck in one place not being able to make a particular decision that you want to to move forward in yourself and it's like oh okay I'm just getting another message now Potentially you're seeing the truth, you're seeing the truth of a situation. Somebody wouldn't want you to see this truth, quite potentially um, a, a karmic individual or a karmic relationship or a karmic partner, work situation, family member, friend, trying to keep you in this other energy. Maybe that kind of overpowered you potentially for a long time. Yeah, made you very unhappy, feeling depressed. Somebody wanted to keep you in a lower kind of depressed energy. Yeah, potentially there was emotional manipulation um, with the King of Cups in reverse. And then with the Fall in reverse, it's like, you know, having um, potentially being taken advantage of with this manipulative behavior, keeping you really kind of under wraps, feeling really sad. But you know, keeping things like secret from you. Potentially there could have been some sort of lies exposed. You know, with this two of swords energy in reverse, it's like something is being exposed and now you know the truth of it, you're able to move forward and follow your intuition. Yeah, to get yourself out of something. But obviously, you see what else, yeah. You're ready to just move on in your life. You know, blessings to come in with the three of wands energy. Yes, there's most likely been some sort of deception previously with the Seven of Swords, you know, and somebody may have got caught in the matter, and now it's coming to light. And with the Seven of Swords, it's in reverse. It's like somebody is either coming clean, or somebody, now that they've got caught, wants to make amends and try to, you know rethink their approach on well they can't confuse you anymore so maybe they could use other tactics to keep you around potentially that could be that could be something for someone the six of wands energy in reverse it's like you know somebody is 
feeling potentially they they are either going to give up or they want you to give up on something on a situation but let's let's carry on what what else can we get for this reading please oh. okay what have we got here ace of cups so somebody wanted to keep you confused most likely because potentially you may have found out the truth that you want to go for a new love in your life potentially somebody is trying or they know that you want to go after a new love in your life or a new start potentially so they may be trying to um keep you stuck potentially in a legal situation or someone um where there's been a lie or there's some sort of truth exposed or something i'm getting some sort of deception that somebody is now wanting to you know they may not have been accountable before yeah there could have been some unfairness to do with a family home situation a dynamic which has been really there's been a betrayal here of some sorts maybe a breakup a separation maybe um maybe there's a, a been a, another third party situation a potential affair or it could be a legal contract of sorts not having equal give and take you know this ace of wands in reverse it's like there's a lack of lack of passion there's been a full start in something in somewhere yeah where there's been an imbalance to do with um power power struggles i'm getting that really strongly with the emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse it's like you know when they're together when they're upright you know they are husband wife you know they're like the perfect perfect couple but then obviously reverse there's major imbalances and energies and dependency and all sorts of different things but let's carry on what else can, what can go under this queen of swords well that looked like it wanted to come out which is the three of swords which um you're getting the truth to a situation that you've been heartbroken trying to work diligently on something what else yeah, but you're gaining the strength in that to be able to move forward, yeah, with the Nine of Cups. So we kind of said this earlier, this kind of came out for these particular cards. That in relation to this Queen of Swords, it's like getting the fairness back into your life after a period of injustice. We have the Justice card in reverse. And now somebody's gathering the strength to go after what makes them emotionally fulfilled after a heartbreaking time after difficulty feeling like the wounded warrior coming up to the end of closing a particular cycle okay i just saw the page of wands in reverse with that nine of wands so it's like you could potentially be dealing with someone who is very immature trying to um procrastinate potentially you moving forward into something but you will eventually break free from that. But what's going to go underneath the Knight of Swords, please? Oof, okay, right. So that definitely wanted to come out. Now, we saw this earlier as well, the Tower card. <clears throat> the Tower card in reverse is, um, you know, being fearful of, of things changing. But now you're getting to the truth of the matter that things needed to fall away. Things needed to change. Potentially, this could be to do with a home situation with the Six of Cups. Or going reuniting back with somebody else yeah getting out of your head though that you know this situation being fearful and moving forward with the eight of wands I'm gonna go what's another card for the, t the tower in reverse yeah trying to regain balance in your life particularly um, weighing out certain decisions making priorities on how to move forward in this truth Potentially with the ace in pentacles in reverse, it's like your your finances may not necessarily be in the place where you want them to be right now. Or maybe realising the truth of, you know, making a potential bad investment elsewhere um, and missing out on an opportunity to move on somewhere else. Potentially missed out on an opportunity for, for love. So therefore now having to go through it with the separation, a separation of sorts. Okay, what's well, going to go underneath this Empress in reverse, please? Oh, okay. Did you see that? So originally, it looked like it was going to come out this way. So somebody's been somebody being 
potentially trying to keep you in a, a difficult situation so that you felt depressed, like you couldn't see the light. Potentially having a lack of faith that things are going to move around or change. I'm getting a sense as well that um, there's been major, you know, somebody's trying to keep like procrastinating for you to change or do something on some sort of lines. Yeah, by emotionally manipulating you. But it's like anything to do with the sun is like it's going to eventually, you know, come to light. Everything is going to come to light that this is what somebody else has been doing. Potentially with the hermit reversed and, you know, with the five of swords upright. This particular person that you may have been dealing with, um, you know, wanted to keep you keep you in a keep you in a place where you fi felt like you were isolated and you lost your way and feeling stuck so that you could stay around with them and repeat um past mistakes kind of thing and you know cause a lot of drama they're trying to manipulate you potentially with this deception and the sneakiness of the five of swords energy could be to do with a third party situation but it doesn't necessarily have to be um, I'm getting that as well. Break up the deck. Yeah, it could be to do with a, you know, a home family situation dynamic. Okay, so what's this world about as well? Um, I want to know a bit more about this world. So the signs that you've been could be dealing with or you have them in your chart or your person does. So we have the Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus and uh, Leo with the world energy. With the Empress, we have Taurus and Libra. Uh, strength, with you have Leo energy. And the Tower, we have um, Aries and Scorpio energy. And the Sun is also Leo energy. Okay, so, but we have all the signs here. So we have, you know, air, fire, water, and earth here. So what's this world about, please? Why is the world here? Straight, what's that? potentially you could be finding your self-worth by getting out of this confusion by knowing that any progress is progress moving forward yeah and then when you have this eventual realization of your self-worth and getting that confidence again you're able to move out of a particular situation when you've gained your stability yeah so then you can actually let go of things potential situations that don't serve you that keep you in a lower kind of depressive energy keep you feeling insecure, um, like you don't have the faith to able to yourself to move forward. And then that in turn, you know, keep you stuck, keep you stuck potentially in a, in a codependent relationship. Yeah, that was very heartbreaking with the Ten of Swords just showing itself there in the middle of the deck. You know, it's like, you know, you've hit rock bottom or you're going to sever ties from something and it will be a slow progress it's still progress i'll take one more for the world please okay so yeah there's been a lot of drama here but that's coming to an end lots of conflict but you're letting go of that i'll take one more actually yeah that looked like the eight of cups wanting to flip out so um you are emotionally letting go of this particular situation in order to move forward the world anything else yeah. Okay. Well, bear with us. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Look. Okay. Justice is coming in for you with a separation. You're separating from someone. This is Gemini energy and this is uh, Libra energy. Yeah. You've battled hard to get out of a particular situation. You've most definitely been the wounded warrior. But there's been major disharmony and balance. Um, like imbalance to do with the situation but there is no love there there's no love in this particular situation you're going through this particular breakup or now it may have left you potentially with trust issues when it comes to other people yeah but you don't want to you don't want to fight necessarily with anyone anymore anymore you just kind of want to move on yeah, you're ready to kind of start something brand new, even if it's somewhere else and you don't have very much. You'd rather just start off and go somewhere else. What's this Empress in reverse, please? Anything extra for this Empress in reverse? I know this has been quite a long reading. Okay. 
Yeah, so with the High Priestess and the Seven of Pentacles, potentially somebody is intuitively knowing that they've made this particular investment or that because you may know and get to know this truth, that you're learning to trust yourself, that you're going to be getting out of something and somebody wants to keep you in fear. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's like... Um, it's to, funnily enough, it's actually to do with like power and domination. It's to do with being selfish, being in debt. So this person, <laughs> whoever this is, knows exactly what they're doing. And what they're doing is, is they're wanting to keep hold of a situation that they've been very patient in to keep hold of it because they know that if you were to leave potentially out of the situation, that they would then eventually be in, in an imbalance. Yeah. <laughs> ten of swords. You gotta, the, the cards don't lie, guys. Um, yeah, with the, with the ten of swords, is there's there's been a major betrayal, and you would be finding out this particular truth that actually somebody else's intentions are not as pure as um, they may come across as potentially. Yeah, because they want to keep you broke. <laughs> they don't want you to have. Um, financial security and you know feeling worthy and this is what is changing over here as you beginning to nurture your nurture yourself okay and then i'll take one more uh, one or two more cards for the sun and then we'll close off the reading oh okay so we have the ace of wands in reverse bottom of the deck we have the five of cups in reverse this is interesting because obviously with the sun, it was kind of, it was reversed and upright. So the way I'm going to see this is that, you know, you potentially may feel that there's been a loss of all hope to do with a situation, but there is going to be hope. With the five of cups in reverse, it's like you are bringing out the brighter side of things, of knowing, okay... I accept where I am, I accept the situation, potentially this connection was just mainly like a, a lusty kind of connection, you know, it wasn't really love, it was, you know, you may have put your cups into something and then it all just kind of fell out and thought, okay, well, I guess this is what it was, but now I'm getting the, getting that realisation that in order to change my life and see it for the better, I need to move myself on out of this, which is then in turn allowing you to feel a bit more positive and feeling you can gain hope in your life again and release particular emotions that don't serve you anymore and find peace in knowing that, yes, this, this may not have worked out with the Ace of Wands in reverse, like you may feel exhausted, but then at the same time, it's like, these delays were necessary for for them some for their some sort of like emotional turnaround to recontemplate look you can look on the brighter side and things will eventually turn around but this was all to kind of make there was no passion left here there was no love left here you know it just felt exhausting you know potentially in a sense boring <laughs> you know the daily grind day in day out doing the same old thing eat sleep repeat type thing yeah somebody will try to keep you around but they got caught and they tried to take advantage and have to see what the situation it was for it was but it can be moved on one more for the sun, please. Yeah, this person who you were dealing with is incredibly immature, or it could have been to do with over children, because we had the empress here in reverse. You know, we saw the emperor in reverse. It doesn't, you know, that could be, um, you know, just mother and father type thing. You know, major separation energy here to do with a, a previous injustice, which you're getting justice for. Could have had children together. Yeah, and then with the seven of swords reverse, it's like, you know, um, there's there's been some sort of two-faced energy here. Yeah, 
potentially two-faced energy keeping around you know using their kind of looks and what have you to keep keep this going but somebody who is quite insecure quite cold but anyway wow okay so <laughs> i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm actually i know this reading gone on quite a while i'm just gonna pull from the soul journey cards and see what kind of advice we can get here for you um you know just if it resonates it resonates that's great if it doesn't then it doesn't there could be parts of the message that do but um let's just see what the soul journey cards for you what what messages can you please get for this beautiful reading this reading what do you want to tell Humour. Wow. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Lighter side of life. See, I said this earlier. <laughs> you know, you're going from, you know, negativity to then seeing the brighter side of life, and that's exactly what it wants you to do. It's that song. Um, always, always look on the bright side of life. Yeah. Um, and then we've got relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah. You know, you're getting out of a particular older energy, old cycle and allowing yourself to see the lighter side of it. OK, this situation served me the way that it did and now it's served me. Now it's done. Now I can move on and I can see, you know, the path of what actually is going on here and find balance in myself and my relationships again. Wow. Awesome. I'll take one more and then we'll close it off. Yeah, freedom. <laughs> I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So, yeah, absolutely. You're breaking free. You know, you're not being fearful of change anymore. You're not going to suffer in silence anymore. You know, any justice, any karmic justice is going to come um, back and it's going to be in your favour. You're going to be able to move on forward. And then courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, so the fearful of change is going to come around for you. You're going to have the courage to be able to move forward and fulfill your dreams and the wish fulfillment to have that emotionally emotional stability in your life again yeah and that's going to come through with friendship i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason and i and failure i understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn so you may have thought that this previous situation was a mistake but there aren't really any mistakes um it's just opportunity that you know lessons turn to blessings type of thing Okay, and <laughs> broke up the deck again and we have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Yeah, with the tower energy. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy the read. Um, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now.